After more than 700 days behind bars, Young Thug is going home, and the hip hop community is celebrating. Travis Scott was among the first of Thug's peers to welcome the Atlanta rapper home on social media. My brother on the way home. As did T.I. Welcome home, little brother. It's been too long. Time to get back to it. Even Sexy Red chimed in and wrote, they let Twin out in reference to their physical resemblance. Judge Paige Reese Whitaker sentenced Thug to 15 years of probation with no time to be served in prison. I know you're talented, and even if you choose to continue to rap, you need to try to use your influence to let kids know that that is not the way to go. Prior to the court's ruling, Thugger addressed Judge Whitaker. I'm sorry. Uh, for through these last two and a half years of my life, you are really, truly, honestly, the best thing that has happened to me because you made, made everything fair for me and everybody involved on both sides, you know. Um, I'm sorry to the sheriff, you know, everybody for just having to put extra time in. I know y'all got to pay you more money, but I'm sorry for y'all having to put this extra time in to be away from y'all family, you know, and I just hope that you find it in your heart to allow me to go home. Thug was arrested back in May 2022 alongside 27 others in a sprawling 56 count indictment for violations of Georgia's RICO Act. He remained behind bars in the two plus years since in what became the state's longest running criminal trial. And I'm going to have any, there better be no violations, but if there are any, you're coming back to see me. Yeah. All right. While Thugger reached a plea deal, his co-defendants refused deals, so their trials are still moving forward. And the YSL Rico case is still far from over.